there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pass the Show of Skin. It is a delight to see you. Thank you very much for coming back to another episode of Made in Japan. Now, of course, sometimes whenever I download these games, I pull them down from the stores. I forget to do research and check them before I come around to get into them. This one was pulled down way back in like early February, March, and I'm only getting around to playing it now because it's in the backlog of older games. Now, the problem with that is... I haven't looked up what this kanji means. I don't know what this game is about. I'm taking a wild stab in the dark here. Probably a visual novel. Got a real feeling this is a visual novel. Most likely a visual novel. <laughs> so um, I think this was actually one from... Uh, I'm just looking at the symbols and writing on it. Is this Chinese rather than Japanese? You know, probably have a cute little comment underneath. Jesus, there's boobs. Um, there's, uh, going to be probably people commenting underneath saying that, yeah, you got this wrong, it's actually a Korean man, wow, that's actually, like, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, see what we got, because I honestly have no idea what the hell's going on in this game so far. Um, of course, Chinese controls, or Japanese controls, Hong Kong controls, you're using the circle to select things. Um, I don't know, uh, I'm going to just bring you down a little bit, because that background music is a little bit overpowering, and it's going to be quite annoying over time. Um, message speed, message settings, no, I'm trying to see if there's anything, oh, okay, wait, hang on, this is way too familiar, I know I've seen this before, with all the different character voices here, oh, no, no, I don't think we've actually seen this one before, hmm, well, let's find out, I'm gonna check to see if there's a continue save, if there's a continue save, it means we've tried this, no, anyway, and where is the skip button? I need my skip button. Skip button. Well, no, that's saving. That's saving game. Um, that's... I don't know. Um... It's a message browser so we can make our way back. No, I think we just hold down the button, can we? No, we can't. Okay, um... There's always a skip. There we go. Okay, so we're actually going against ourselves here. Um, oh, there we go. Aha! Ha ha ha! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! All right, well, we start right into the kissing. Mm -mm, smooshy smoochies. Well, ain't that sweet. So I'm assuming this is actually a dream about the woman that you love. Pretty sure it's a dream. Oh, there we go. Dream of the woman that we love. So what have we got to deal with in Act 1 of this game? Which I know nothing about. Um, hey, little sister, possibly? Um, since you come in to wake you in your bedroom, traditional Japanese bedroom style, uh, very, very simplified, down, shelf for all your books, place for your laptop, little desk, not really that, uh, personality filled, but, um, that makes up for it with the cute, ditzy sister friend that's standing here, who's madly embarrassed and... I have no idea what's actually up with her. She's bouncing around a little bit, but she seems to be annoyed about a lot of the conversation that we're actually having. And, of course, out onto the school streets. I'm assuming that we're actually either high school or college, are we? With the dress code and the clothing that was showed previously, I'm guessing high school? Always, usually high school. Maybe probably a private school with that kind of weird uniform. Yep, we're going to high school. And we've got boobs, and we have a awkwardly dutched angle at somebody's head. Hi, nice surprise to meet you. Oh wait, hang on. Are you the one from my dream? I remember you from my dream. Oh my god. So then she, that's what it is. A little sister's getting a little upset now, but the fact that we had such an etchy dream with the lady that we just met, and we probably already we knew about her before we actually saw her. So almost as if this has all happened before. Maybe we're traveling through time. <laughs> As you can guess, I'm actually just making this up as I go along, skipping as fast as I can to see what we got from it. Yes, mm-hmm, yes, that's great, it's good to hear, it's good to see that you actually have lots of facial expressions. I mean, very, very expressive. I don't like the fact that I'm having to actually press this button to skip ahead here. Oh, oh yes, no, is this a s older sister or mother? Older sister, mother, aunt. Let's play the game, older sister, mother, aunt? Boobs are being rubbed against boobs, so I'm assuming mother. And then that's going to pull the attention to this girl who appears to actually be staying with me. And okay, the dreams are coming back again. Now, that's a, probably a cheat clue to actually see that she's going to be wearing that pink jacket in the future whenever yeah, the scene happens. 
Or is that all a dream again? Was that all just a dream again? Um, alright. It's nice of you to actually join us in bed in your onesie. Now, I don't know. Has everybody else got a fad for a fascination with those kind of onesies? Those, um... What was it? Kurimiru or whatever they call them. Like, they actually have a game name for them in Japan. Where people are just dressing up as animals inside them. I'm... I'm it's not for me. It's not, not my thing. Uh, the entire idea of wearing one single piece of clothing that actually, like, is covering the entire body weirds me out a little bit. Just... just it, it, it literally just... It weirds me. But it doesn't make me uncomfortable. It's like, like I don't... I wouldn't be a weird... I wouldn't be annoyed if somebody else wearing them. But it's just not for me in any way, shape, or form. Okay. We continue on, or are we actually going to go into school? Yes, we're going to go into school today. I was wondering why we had actually hadn't bothered in the previous couple of scenes. God, it feels like I'm actually playing like a, an auto clicker or a cookie clicker game here, just by the fact that I'm clicking through this conversation as fast as humanly possible. Uh, I'm assuming we're going to be introduced to the rest of our classmates, and so is this new girl. The new girl, of course, is going to be catching everybody's attention because she's interesting new, and she has ridiculous boobs. <laughs> yes, ain't that cute? Mm-hmm. And uh, here's our class president. I'm going to guess class president. I'm going to guess class president. So she's um, an old friend, and she, of course, kind of has this whole thing about being a den mother to a room full of idiot kids or idiot other people's siblings, essentially. But of course, this is the um, unbeknownst kind of possibly Yahweh shipped best friend who seems like she kind of like uh, always has always plays a second fiddle kind of role where he's fascinated by all the girls but then of course they're it all becomes like a choice path for the main guy never a chance for him so they seem to be getting along perfectly fine nobody seems to be actually antagonizing another although admittedly she seems to be a little bit put off by the girl's actual extreme boobs and her ability to lean over while while possessing said boobs Okay, yes, I'm, I, I'm, I imagine you were very, very shocked by what I just said, but I'm sure you're okay now. It's just the fact that you're getting too close and then you're starting to get a little bit worried. Maybe it's actually the whole plot of the story now is about you and me. But obviously, do you notice, by the way, that we have not actually ran into a single decision of any sort yet? Just, just, just saying. We, we haven't. Like, none. So this is the, a very, very text-heavy novel that obviously I'm going to probably give up on in just a few, just a little while. <laughs> it's we're, we're seven minutes into a, a visual novel that um, has given me no real clues or, as to what its plot is, other than we we're moving around the school and being introduced to people. Oh, of course. Oh, so the girls are actually obviously into different sports. Good. So now we get to see them in uniform. Now I'm assuming we're actually standing outside watching them play sports because the guys aren't dressed up, but they're getting on the tennis court for their club. Um, They've got a competition going on, possibly the fact that they're both going to be playing doubles, and they're going to be mixed doubles, is it? Nah, I think like these two always come over to interrupt anyway. And there's actually your little sister introducing you to her friend that's in her class, who is unbelievably cute and shy, but she doesn't really know how to speak for herself. Now, of course, they're going to actually make friends with the older students, and it's like, Senpai, Senpai, it's so good that you noticed me. Thank you very much for your help. <laughs> yeah, and we got that one. Okay, I'm wondering how close I am to the plot. I'm like, do you, the visual novel fans out there, if I am actually anywhere close to the basis of like genericness of this, like that, I'm actually getting like I'm I'm being noticeably close to it in any way, shape, or form. It's just from tropes, so many tropes, and I think visual novels kind of like suffer from that in a lot of ways. It's the reason why I enjoy visual novels that kind of that, that are a little bit. Not of not of the mainstream kind of like visual novel ones. Well, they are really like the thing is they're the mainstream ones now because of the amount of attention they get. But stuff like Root Letter and um, yeah, Steins get one well, like, well, I always kind of reference back to, just because they're intensely goofy, weird. They're like a sci-fi no novella rather than actually being these kind of like slice of life ones. I, it's just the fact I played too many pornography versions of this whenever I was growing up as a kid to really kind of like care at all about what's going on in these. And it wasn't because I skipped the dialogue for to watch the porny bits. It was because the, um, it was weird that something that was actually designed to be porn was actually as, as engaging as some of the non-porn ones where they're literally the exact same conversations, exact same plots being had, just at the end of it, people had sex so, <laughs> with a single what CG scene. But this is um, not pulling my attention in any way, shape, or form. Especially whenever I've done other games recently, another visual novel that actually has that kind of like, constant motion of the characters shows them in rather than these slide in single frame changes this is a, this is the visual novel as a classic medium 
still exists in this way. But if you're going to do it this way, do something massively unique and interesting with it, like, say, Song of Saya or Steins Gate or Root Letter. Something that actually turns this prolonged reading experience into a better and enjoyable tale. Now, things like Phoenix Wright do this kind of stuff, like these long, long dialogue bits really well because they actually are mixed in with that court case kind of drama and bits that you have to pay attention to yourself to be able to understand the puzzles. But in this, this is just a wonderfully, delightfully sweet and enjoyable light novel. Is she falling asleep with stand up? Yes, yeah, she has. <laughs> oh, hi. Hey. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Do you know what? We're going to stop on this. <laughs> that, that's, that's where we're going to stay. We're going to stay on this one. They, on this one CG scene, because I'm willing to bet it'll make a really good thumbnail. But we just turn around and go like this. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, obviously, I will put the title of this, actu the actual title of this game underneath whenever I go to upload the video. But I honestly have got no clue what this is. And I've got a feeling that if I just grab some random visual novels from online that were not translated... They're going to be 70 to 80% very similar to this. And I don't mean this in a derogatory sense to people who are fans of original novels. It's great to read and enjoy the same kind of story over and over again. It's kind of like a, with the slight tweaks into Eric State where you actually just see the nuances of a story if they're good. But I don't know. Um, I, I, I kind of like, I, I've, I've kind of like, I've burned myself out on too many years of playing these to actually kind of like care, <laughs> especially whenever they get released in PlayStation 4. Um, unless they're actually going to have a really interesting hook then I I'm, I'm, I'm don't care if these ever get translated to English, uh, which they probably will do at some point. I'm sure what I put this video up now, 14 months down the line, there'll be a slate of visual novels that'll all come out. There'll basically be these games translated just because they'll be available on the PlayStation Store and they're easy enough to do. Just I'm, I'm, I'm just stabbing in the dark that that's a possibility. This game probably is up on Steam in English as it is. So um, yeah, if you, if you like my meandering ramblings on the sexual uh, proclivities of visual novels and their lack henceforth to actually kind of like catch my attention and the fact that i just really needed to get this out of the door because there's too many games in my stack to actually like go back to and like ignore um make sure to hit the subscribe button up at the top i will not be playing that if you ask for me to play for this game like i ask in every other video where you people come underneath and say play the rest of this in english if you can find it fine i will i will do it but only at your demand not in any other reason for my own pleasure but if you actually want to get notifications about other games and other stuff that I do here on the channel that actually are, I find much more engaging and you might find more engaging, then make sure to hit the subscribe button up there at the top or hit the follow button down there or over there or over there, wherever the hell you find it on whatever source it is that you find this particular broadcast. And if you don't want to do that and you actually don't know where to find it otherwise, then just search for Past Each of Skin. I'm not trying to hide. There will be an archive of this everywhere and anywhere. On many of the social mediums, you'll be able to find me underneath this name and you'll know when I'm going to be broadcasting. So follow me on any one of those. And, uh, of course, thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. Um, oh, yeah. If this is on YouTube. Uh, there'll be boxes popping up here. One right over the top of her face. So we can excite her boobs with uh, other videos in the Made in Japan series. Over in the far side will be the most recent video on the channel. And down here will be a video. If you're watching a Made in Japan video, it's probably going to be a Made in Japan video or something of a similar nature. And probably a slightly etchy nature as well. Because, basically, a minute. You came here looking for this visual novel and you found this. Well done to you. But uh, the video over here will be one that actually is designed for you to enjoy based around your pleasures and enjoyments that you look for on YouTube. Don't blame me, blame yourself. Now, thank you very much for watching. And again, guys, I will see all you dudes in the next pervy video. Bye.